Mr. Campert. In this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, one idea I have for creating your figurine's body. Uh, kind of up to you guys to come up with your own ideas, really, but um, you can use any of these tools to create a shape. I'll start with the uh, upper torso or sh shoulder region. Um, you could do something like this. Um, I've never played around with this arc before, actually. Or you could do something like this, and then you can trim on the off the excess on it and have a shape. You could do that for both the shoulders. You'd want to make that arc the same size. Uh, there's an easier way, actually, if you want to round for shoulders. You could do a fillet. And for that, you can change the number to how big you want it to be. If you go too big, it inverts on itself and doesn't work. So you could do the same thing over on this shoulder, for instance. And notice one inch is way too big. Didn't change. Boy, that did not work at all. Well, you get the idea. You can round these. I have no clue why it's... There we go. That's better. So you could round the shoulders like that. You could do something where you have the shoulders flare out. Like that. And make sure you guys are drawing this to scale. You just need to divide everything by 20. I think that's what you said. You're doing 20th scale. So whatever their shoulder width is, divide that by 20. Same thing with their waist. Well, I'll show you in a bit. Waist, same thing, really. Make sure you trim so you have one solid shape. And it's got to be fully enclosed. If it's not fully enclosed, it won't extrude right. If you want to finish the sketch, actually, and I'll show you. I should have showed you how to dimension things. I thought you'd know how to do that by now, but you can dimension and change this to whatever you need it to be. Or as you draw it, that's even better, actually, as you draw it to end of the dimensions. You can finish that and then extrude. And whatever their, I guess you'd say thickness is, that's what you'd want to put here. So that could be something like their upper torso. It looked like you guys wanted the body to be three pieces. So you'd want to open a new file. Make sure you save that one in a folder all together. And then you could do um, the midsection. Again, you want it to be to scale. It could just be a rectangle. I'd prefer if there's more detail. If you want a lot of points for this, you need more detail. Um, one thing I want to show you, oh, is you can actually go back on this and then start rounding things. You can use this fillet, and you definitely want to round some stuff. And you can change the value right here, defaults to 0.125. You definitely want to round these. I'd round more. I'd run that as well. And same thing with this. You don't want to just have a rectangle. Um, you can put a design on here if you want. And then you'd want to finish and extrude it. And you would want to, if, if you're going to round it, which, which you should, use the same value for the fillet. So this would be like their stomach area, their mid-torso. You can also do things such as a chamfer. That's more of a straight like ramp, not rounded. Uh, there's many ways to do this. This is just some ideas. You definitely don't want to just copy what I did. Hope this helps.